investigates getting answers about two stolen police guns and the Milwaukee police officers who lost them. We now have those officers' names and what happened to them after someone stole their service weapons. Investigative reporter Derek Rose is here with the new developments and a look ahead to a broader 12 News investigation. Derek? Yeah, Kristen, those two gun thefts first uncovered by investigative reporter Hillary Mintz. We now have the records from both the internal affairs investigations, and there are a number of connections between the two officers in this story, including the fact both are no longer on the force. Tiffany Williams, Dominic Pritzlaff, targets of two Milwaukee police internal affairs investigations. Both had their department issued service weapons stolen in recent years. Williams, who worked at District 4, reported her gun stolen from her home Valentine's Day 2021. Records show Williams suspected her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Damari Strahan, <laughs> a convicted felon seen holding a gun in social media videos. While it's unclear whether that gun is the stolen police gun, yeah. investigators claim Strayham admitted in one video, I took the police officer Heat the other day. Heat being slang for gun. But after his arrest, records show Strayham denied the theft. Prosecutors charged him with possession of a gun by a convicted felon, a case that has since been dismissed. The gun theft case sparked a separate internal affairs investigation targeting Officer Williams, accusing her of sharing sensitive police database records with Strayham. And while those investigations were ongoing, Tiffany Williams quit. She resigned two months after the gun theft, citing personal reasons. But internal affairs records reveal Williams resigned just two weeks after crashing a car near 10th and Keefe, with a blood alcohol level recorded above the legal limit. One of the responding officers at that crash site was District 5 officer Dominic Pritzlaff. Records show in the months after the crash, someone stole his service weapon from a car near 24th and Vliet, February 2022. Internal Affairs discovered he loaned the vehicle to a relative and told investigators he forgot his duty belt inside the vehicle on accident. Among the missing equipment, the officer's gun, two magazines, and ammunition. Records show Pritzlaff also left the department abruptly. Chief Norman fired him, not for the stolen gun, but for failing a drug test exactly one month after someone stole his gun. And Derek, in your reporting, you learned that these are not the only Milwaukee police guns stolen. Yeah, not only that, these guns are the six hour P320s, the same guns the department believes can fire on their own. The, are, there are other stolen Milwaukee police P320s out there. That part of our investigation, as well as some new information from Milwaukee police about these cases tonight at 10. All right, Derek, thank you.